Hello and welcome to the fourth in a series of tutorial videos on programming in C. I've saved the ch3.c file from the last tutorial, the ch4.c, and you remember that we looked at integer variables and some simple arithmetic we can do with them. If I just compile this program now, and actually try and remember the options correctly for doing it, you'll see that we've got 10 plus 6 is 16, 10 minus 6 is 4, 10 times 6 is 60. 10 divided by 6 comes out as 1, the reason of which is explained in the last tutorial, because it sim we simply lose the decimal precision, there's no rounding, and the modulo operator is used to give the remainder of the division between the two. But what if you need this decimal precision? Well, first of all, we're going to remove the bottom section here where we use the modulo operator. And back up the top, we're going to change these variables type from the integer type to what's called the float point, uh, float type, which is the floating point type, so decimal point. And in the declaration here, we're going to add a point zero on the end. So now we've changed the types of these to a floating point. Now we can still compile and run the program here, but now you notice that we get all sorts of problems because we're now specifying as the format here still an integer. So we need to type that, change the type that we're specifying, specifying here in the printf statement from a D to something else. And if you go back to C++.com and on the reference on the left hand side and then into the C library as before and then down to stdio.h into printf. I won't do this every time throughout the tutorial series, but it's good to get the hang of it. You'll see here that we were using d for a signed decimal integer. Well, now we're using a floating point, so we need to use this small f here. So we'll quickly switch out the d for f's. And now we can save and compile the file again and run. And now what you see we get, we get the numbers as before, but we also get a load of decimal points afterwards, because now we're specifying a floating point number, so decimal point numbers. And you'll see that division is now correct with 1.66667. Now you might not need all of those decimal points, and going back to the website here, C++, there's something here called a precision operator, where you can specify how precise you want the number to be. In our case, let's specify a dot, because we're going to specify precision, and then a two. So we're going to say that we're going to have two decimal places. So I'll quickly put these in after the percentage, before the F. Run this again, and now you can see that we've got two decimal places, and importantly, it's correctly rounded up from the 1.66667 here to 1.67, so it's also rounded that up. So if you want decimal precision, you need to use floating point numbers. And where you especially have to be careful in C programs is when you start mixing variable types. You should try and avoid it as much as possible. In fact, don't do it. Because you can have the situation, let's call this my int result equals naught. You can have the situation where, for example, you have an integer here. And now let's take this division and just copy for the sake of speed the result to the next line. And now let's take my int result and put the result of the division of these two floating point type variables, so with decimals, into an integer and print the result here using the D specifier. Just paste that in there and see what we get. And you see now that instead of getting the 1.67 or the 1.6, we still have the 1 as before. And the reason for this is, is because it's dividing the division takes place of the decimal point numbers with the decimal points, and we'll give the result 1.6667. But it's then being stuffed into what's called cast as, so turned into an integer result. And as before, when we divided two integers, we simply lose the precision after the decimal point, and the result ends up as 1. So you have to be very, very careful with this. Another example of where you have to be careful with this Let's just do this for sake of clarity here. If I define 
num1 equals 10 integer and int num2 equals 6 integer now you know that my result is a decimal point type here now if I divide num1 by num2 but put the result into a decimal floating point variable where we don't lose the decimal precision you might wonder what we get there well, we can compile it and have a look and we'll specify point to f so we get two decimal places and save the file and let's see what we get here so we're dividing 10 by 6 integers and then we're saving the result here and again we lose the decimal precision because this is calculated first as integers so we already lose the 0.67 off and then cast into a floating point variable but it's already lost the two numbers after the decimal place here and therefore we get 1.00 so the take home really from this it's rather a short video but I just wanted to quickly talk about floating point numbers is don't mix the two of them uh, I've done it before in some programs and ended up with extremely big bugs which were very hard to find because you lose pre precision from your arithmetic so you need to think in advance what kind of precision you're looking for and then stick with that decision and that precision okay that's it for this video the next video will start looking at some if and else statements and a bit more logic a couple more operators then we'll move on to loops some arrays and then we can finally look at getting input from the user and starting to form the basics of the chess engine. Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, welcome on YouTube.